In this video, I will be reviewing, let me go get them. These Asioma power pedals, which are on my bike, who are now the official power meter partner to the RCA with many RCA members. Entrusting in Asioma for their cycle training and our very own Neil Stanbury saying they are, to date, the best power meter pedal he's seen on the market. So why does Neil say that? And why have I personally been so impressed with these Asioma power pedals? over the past 12 months of use. Five reasons with two considerations I'll leave you with at the end, including how I've been able to transition from an avid speed play user to a look Keo system. So the five reasons through the lens of a cycling coach. Reason number one is ease of use. Being a crankbase user for many years, I can tell you, Installation and changeover to another bike is simply hard work. Being a pedal-based system here, you simply install them like any other pedal system with the addition of needing to charge them via their micro USB cable magnetic connectors, which provides a solid and well back 50 hours of use per charge. Following charge, there's a quick setup on the Asioma app where you need to specify crank length. It should be noted as well that the pedals are light, roughly 150 grams a piece for their dual side model, which is actually 50 to 100 grams lighter than most other pedal based power systems. And additionally, it's only 50 grams or so heavier than say Shimano Ultegra, which doesn't come with power at all. So for us as a cycle coaching business at the RCA, when people are onboarding onto our program, particularly if they've never used power before and they're investing into power training, removing any friction for installation and setup to get them going is critical. The second and perhaps most important reason why we've partnered with Asioma is accuracy. Personally, I've been training to power for about 10 years, and in the past, I've had power meters that have read up to 20 watts plus higher than they should. Unusual spikes, particularly at the top end when you're doing sprint or neuromuscular efforts, and also power pedals that have taken up to two minutes after the rider started to connect to the head unit. All of this disrupts the data and makes our analysis as a coach difficult. And for a regular amateur or recreational road cyclist, Looking at their data, it makes it untrustworthy. And as soon as you don't trust the data, you disengage and therefore you don't get any value from it. So what I have learned to appreciate with Asioma is their technology and the ability to get a true power reading for every pedal stroke. You see most recreational and amateur road cyclists don't have a consistent and smooth pedal stroke. It will vary based off flexibility, bike fit, poor technique, road conditions, the list goes on. However, many stock power meters will use something they call average angular velocity, where they're assuming the pedal stroke is efficient and the same. This assumption from a study, which granted is on the Asioma website, concludes that average angular velocity can lead up to a 4.5% error rate, which doesn't sound like much, but if you are doing efforts at say 350 watts, that's a circa 15 plus watt margin for error. Now expand that out over a 12 week or even longer training block and we have enough margin for error to significantly impact data that we're looking at surrounding how much stress is the person under or how much freshness do they have, the list goes on. With Asioma, however, they have a built-in IAV power system which leverages an integrated three-axis gyroscope. In short, enabling a platform to obtain real-time angular velocity, not average, and thus a more true power reading for us recreational and amateur road cyclists that may not have an overly consistent and smooth pedal stroke all the time. Reason number three is build quality and longevity, which is very important for a pedal-based system because these things tend to get bumped and knocked around a lot with the Asioma. First up, it should be noted that they are actually part of a bigger company, which has been making electronic sports equipment for 30 years out of Italy, meaning the Asiomas are actually Italian made. The electronic parts of the power meter are housed in a bi-component resin block, which is in the spindle not in the pedal itself and is designed to keep out nasties such as water. And I can actually speak from personal experiences here. After taking these pedals on a filthy 100 kilometer wet and slippery gravel ride, which included mountain bike trails 
after a major rain flood event earlier this year and despite needing to replace a cleat. My pedals have been solid as a rock. Reason number four is Asioma customer service and support. From everything that I've witnessed via hundreds of RCA members and everything that Neil has witnessed from many of his bike fitting clients, it's clear to both of us that Asioma delivers on everything you would expect from a company that really cares about their reputation. The pedals have a two year warranty and communication with the brand for anything support related appears to be highly responsive and willing to replace equipment when and if required. Unlike some other companies which I know will make your life difficult. The fact that you can easily find a support form or general email address on their website speaks louder than any words. Reason number five is price. Cycling is an expensive sport. I'm sure I'm not telling you anything you don't know and there's always something new to add to the list. Thankfully, Asioma offers two reasonably priced power meters. And this will change based off of exchange rates, but roughly 370 USD for their Uno one-sided model and 580 USD for their dual-sided duo model. That is significantly less than what good quality power meters used to be only a few years ago now, and also a much better investment, in my humble opinion, and I've got a lot of carbon wheels around here, than buying a new set of carbon wheels, which are probably a similar investment, perhaps a little bit more, because you might be thinking they're gonna make you faster, and they will, but I could almost guarantee, buy a power meter, train to power properly, and that will make you a lot faster than any set of carbon wheels. So the two considerations. Consideration number one, if you're looking at their Shimano compatible model, please understand that the Q factor, which is how far your feet are apart on the bike when you're clipped in, will be 10 millimeters longer on both sides, so 20 millimeters all up. Is that a bad thing? Well, according to Neil Stanbury, the expert bike fitter who I spoke to before shooting this video, it can actually be a really good thing for some people who need the extra Q factor and really detrimental for others. So what I would suggest that you do is going and watching this video on the topic of Q Factor first, or if you're still unsure, you could actually just consider using the Lukeo system. It actually is very similar to Shimano. And as I stated at the start of this video, as an avid speed play user in the past, I've found the transition to Lukeo to actually work quite well, which is consideration too for all those speed play users out there. So when Asioma first reached out to me at the very early stages of 2021, I said no on multiple occasions. Reason being, it's not because I didn't believe in their power system or technology, it's because being an avid speed play user, I simply didn't want to go back as I had tried already to go back to Shimano pedals twice since being on speed play over the past 10 years and I simply did not like it. My contact at Asioma was very persistent though and I thought at the end of the day, I'm just reviewing these things. I don't need to transition all my riding to the Look Keo system, but as it turns out, I now really enjoy this system a lot more than Shimano. In fact, I enjoy the system just as much as speed play to a point now where I've been racing on this system which speaks louder than any words and it's been an interesting one figuring this one out and it is very personal so this isn't going to work for everyone but i mostly like the speed plays because of the smaller contact point the little circle to me the speed play just felt like a better transfer of power to the pedal say to the shimanos and while the look system is similar in design to shimano it is notably smaller, less wide, making it a smaller contact point and more aligned to the feel or sensation I get with the speed plays. So interestingly, external to that easy clip in and clip out you get with the speed plays, which is dual sided. I have fully come around to the Look Keo system as a previous speed play fan and I can thus enjoy the benefits of the Asioma power meter technology.